message here today is be brave and be bold. You can program which hands goes to the fourth arm. You can do it from this one to this one, this one to this one. This is a tool that India needs. There has to be a change and the change has come now in the form of robotic surgery. I think you are the window of opportunity. What's the best that we can do? I'm a very proud Indian today. I would like to thank uh, Mr. Raj Vattakuti and Dr. Mahendra Bhandari for uh, the Roadshow. Roadshow. Two small but important world-changing words. November 15th through the 29th, 2011, history was made in India. The Vadikuti Foundation Roadshow, a traveling program designed to introduce, inform, and excite surgeons about robotic surgery, began to do exactly that. The future of surgery is harnessing the power of software and computers uh, to surgery. Uh, the future of surgery is uh, making it less traumatic. Uh, the future of surgery is improve, improving the, the surgeon's ability to see. The future of surgery ultimately is not doing surgery at all. Dr. Mani Menon and the Vatikuti Foundation team began in Gurgaon at the Madanta Vatikuti Institute of Robotic Surgery. Before the Six City Roadshow was finished, 28 robotic surgeries, some quite challenging, would be demonstrated to India's finest doctors. The road to their future and their patients was leading them towards surgical robotics, thanks to the Vatikuti Foundation Roadshow. Many of you know that some patients and doctors have traveled long distances to Detroit to be treated or taught by the doctor and team known for being the best in the world. Their target was cardiac surgery, and the robot was designed to, to, for cardiac surgery. It had been around for three years and it hadn't gone anywhere. We shot at the heart and hit the prostate. <laughs> <laughs> this time it was the doctor who traveled far, and it wasn't quite a house call. It was a tour of India to teach and inspire. This major undertaking was a reflection of the commitment Dr. Mani Menon and the Vatikuti Foundation have made. It is a commitment not just to medicine, but to the people of the world. Raj Vatikuti talked about his goal for robotic surgery. It has to reach to the common man. It's not just be only certain people get the advantage of it. Who are willing to take that risk and the investment required to make this really work. We feel very confident we will have in five years 100 robots uh, here. November 17th found Dr. Menon lecturing about and surgery 2000 BC to 2000 AD. The robot is simply an enabler. It's a sophisticated tool. It makes surgeons better. In Chennai, the road to the future included surgeries, Dr. Menon's presentation, and comments from participants. It was amazing, the, the precision, the, the vision, the blood loss. Everything was so beneficial to the patient. And we thought, OK, this is a tool that India needs. Definitely, there's no doubt about that. We believe that if we can spread and share with, with the community and make a big difference, especially in a country like ours. Lots of questions and answers. If you have uh, a cancer of the, of the oropharynx and, and of the tonsil, you can, without any incision, place the robot, uh, use flexible instruments and take it out. So you don't need to split the jaw and reconstruct it. Surgery and lectures just looked easy for the hard-working roadshow team. I the intense schedule took them to the Kim's Vatikuti Institute of Robotic Surgery. Robotic surgery put Hyderabad lo on TV news coverage of the roadshow was important, but those who attended the public lecture learned even more. Vatikuti Foundation is a charitable organization which has redefined the charity. The main thing is it is a great tool, uh, but the great tool will not work very well unless we have a good surgeon. We have so many great surgeons in India. We feel uh, with this technology, I think we can really pioneer in, in the world. Bringing robotics roadshows and conferences to the world of medicine is just one facet of the Vatikuti Foundation. In India, we are involved equally, and um, we are happy uh, at the outcome of the projects that we have taken up. Disaster relief, poverty alleviation, education and medical technology like robotics are but some of the causes that Raj and Padma have focused on. Search Vatikuti Foundation or VFRSI on your computer and you'll find websites where you can learn even more. 
There are also resources, including videos and contacts there for you to use. What Vetiquity Foundation has helped us significantly is now there are experts in various fields. As the, um, we're expanding the whole foundation to the world, creating these robotic centers and working with the, all the surgeons around the world, especially in India, not only creating the centers, but the quality aspects of it and training aspects of these surgeons, which is one of the key issue. And of course, also creating the business model, which can be affordable for the people. A very warm welcome to Raj Benikuri, even though he's the host of this function. Manipal Hospital in Bengaluru welcomed the roadshow team. There is no such thing as a dairy surgeon. There are only dairy patients. There was even a video of the Da Vinci robot being used to make an origami bird. Afterwards, they enjoyed a casual meal and friendly get-togethers. So we have our landmarks, spleen, there's our colon, so we'll drop all this. Doctors in Kolkata got to witness robotic surgery up close at the Apollo Vatakuti Institute of Robotic Surgery. The operating room had become the classroom. I can't see my number two and my back one are in a straight line. Okay, so if they, if they were like this, I would hold my port and make them straight. Lively discussion followed. Surgery used to be about blood and guts. Now it's going to be about bits and bites. So the robot will do for the surgeon what email has done and the cell phone has done for communication. The end of November also meant it was nearing the end of the roadshow. I would normally tell people when, when they use the hook that instead of using the hook straight, wrist it so that it is right angle to the posterior detrusive wall. Even the doctors in the Mumbai audience shared their enthusiasm. It is not only patient comfortable, hospital comfortable, but surgeon comfortable. I think we never looked at ourselves. And this technology perhaps has given us a surgeon comfortable you know, property, which, which we were looking for last several years, and that has come to us. At the Vatikuti Asian Institute of Robotic Surgery, the guests heard some heartfelt advice from the CEO of the Vatikuti Foundation. If you are wanting it as a prestige symbol because X has a robot, you also should have, you are not going to make anything. You have to really watch the technology and if you feel that that is the way to go it, then the choice is with you whether you want to be the leader or a follower. There is no other option. Indian surgeons are very skilled. Um, most of the top robotic surgeons in the world are Indians. I'm sure in 10 years India will be the pioneer and the leader in all aspects of this. I'm grateful for all three of them, for Raj Bhattakuti and his wife Padma, who has uh, allowed this foundation to happen, uh, who has allowed this foundation to develop the technology in robot and now taken it upon themselves to spread it for the world. History was made last November. History is being made right here, right now, by you, the medical professional. The people of India and the world are counting on you to bring them the latest in life-changing, even life-saving robotic medicine. The Vatikuti Foundation stands with you. We are working hard to bring the latest ideas in medical technology to you. Thank you for caring. Welcome to the Road to the Future.